What's up, my name is Jay, and in this video I want to show you a very simple but very useful JavaScript library to truncate your text. The name is Shave um, by Jeff. Um, so thank you so much, Jeff. Very, very cool library. So I'm going to scroll down to show you what actually is, what it does, and you can see here, um, there's a paragraph here, and there's a button that says truncate text, so when you click on it, Voila! So you can see that um, it adds um, the three dots at the end or the ellipsis, but this is a very quick example and then you can reset back because your text is already there. So I'm going to inspect this element real quick so we can see what's going on. So let's see, this is the paragraph. All right, you can see it right here. I'm going to click the button. Let's open the paragraph. Let's, let's do that again. Reset. Click the button. And you can see it's like creating some sp spans. So right now you can see there's a span for the three dots and then there is another span and it's hiding the extra text. And when you click the re reset button, everything goes back to normal. So you can see the original text is right here. So it's just, it's, it's not removing the text. It's just hiding it right there. So this is very cool because it's very easy to go back to it if you want to do something like a button, for example. So now that you know what it is, um, scroll down a little bit and let's save this um, shave.js file. Um, you can use jQuery. I'm not going to use it for this video, but you can use it if you want to. The link is on the description of this video. So go there. Um, scroll and download this file. You can just right click and download it. And then you can see if you scroll, you can see the usage is very easy. But let's go to my text editor so we can get something here done very quickly. So you can see I have um, just normal HTML, nothing special. I just have um, a paragraph you can see here. It's just one paragraph. You can see how it looks right here. And then I have the shave.js file. I have it right here. This is all the code we need to get it done. And then uh, this, is, this is just CSS um, for my paragraph, but nothing um, complicated. So the only thing that we need right now is to create one JavaScript file for us. And then we need to request this um, shave.js. So let's go right here before our body. And let's do the script and then you put the source shave.js and then after this we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna request our I don't know what let's say main.js let's save that file and now we need to create this main.js file for us so I'm gonna create a new document I'm gonna save that right here main.js all right save it you can see that it's right here now it's totally empty so let's go back um so we have a paragraph so this is i i just need to um so somehow get to this element and apply shape to it so let's go to the main.js so first i'm going to create a variable so i'm going to do const let's call it para for paragraph is equal to document dot query selector it's right here and in here i'm going to do p which is my paragraph tag all right so after we have the paragraph now we can actually shave it <laughs> so let's go ahead and do shave whoops that's not what i want this is what I want. So the first thing we need is the element, which is the paragraph. So para and then comma. And then you choose the maximum height of that paragraph. So let's say 100. And let's save it. There you go. So now you can see here our paragraph is truncated. It's that simple. So it's that easy. Now, of course, you want to maybe you want to say that you want to change these um, these dots for something else. Maybe a read more, maybe a, I don't know, uh, something else. So 
you can do something like this. So let's create another variable. Let's call it config for configuration, or you can, you can name it whatever you want. And this is going to be an object. And here I'm going to do character. And character is going to be, I don't know, something like that. So now that we have the config, we can do, we can go here and say comma config. I'm going to save that and look at this. Now is that whatever you put in here is going to be here and going to, is going to replace those dots or the ellipses It's going to be replaced. Um, one thing that people do a lot is like to read more link and you can do it. Um, just like this, you can do like something like href. It's going to go somewhere and then close it back. And it can be read, whoops, read more. There you go. Now you have a link. Maybe you can add some space in here. Read more. Maybe you can add those three dots and then the read more. Something like that. That looks a lot better. Of course, we need to add something here, some URL. So let's create a here a variable with a URL equals to, and it can be, let's say, like Google, google.com. Yes. All right. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and add the URL right there. Now you can do that. Let's save it. Let's see if it works. Yep, still working. Now if you click is going to Google um, or you can go and use ES6, use backticks. And instead of this, you can do dollar sign brackets URL. And that looks a lot better. And that's it. So that's how it works, of course, um, if you want to do it on multiple paragraph. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just copy all this. Let's save it. You, it's not going to warn the second. It's not going to work on the second paragraph because I used um, query selector It's going to select only one, but I can do query selector all. And now it's going to select every single paragraph. Um, of course, maybe you have a website with a list of things and description. And then you, when you click, go to something specific, not the same thing, right? So this URL needs to come somehow from your server. And maybe you need to loop all those and, you know, it gets a little bit complicated, but you get the idea of how you, what you can do is very simple. Now, after that, you need to work on your own and see what you're going to do with this. But that's the only thing you need to get this done. Cool. That's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.